One of the reasons I particularly like this gizmo to demonstrate collision theory is the students have a lot of control as to what they can change. So we have our two reactants, our reactant A, which is the blue diatomic molecule, and reactant B, which looks a lot like water. Except we have a stack of it here, so we're assuming it's a solid. And when students are ready to begin, they can start the simulation and see that as they collide, you get some changes. And now we have product A and product B created. And another one was just made. There are lots of changes the students can make here. They can change the concentrations of the reactants. They can alter the temperature so that it will be hotter, they'll have more energy. We can spread out the reactant B and have a minimum surface area or maximum surface area. And we can add catalysts into the mix. So with having all of these choices, it allows for a nice easy jigsaw where students can explore as much as they can in the time they have. Additionally, in the animation page, you get to see the replacement reaction, both without a catalyst, and then how the catalyst brings the reactants together and facilitates the change in the reaction. Students can also, if you wanted to go more mathematically, run and collect data on the concentration of each reactant and view it as a graph. So there are lots of options here for students to explore, play with, or go above and beyond and just reinforce what they've learned. So it's a good introduction as well as a good follow-up activity after doing the inquiry lab.